The minority leader of parliament has urged Ghanaian voters to resist any attempt by the Electoral Commission to compile a new voters' register. Speaking at a demonstration in Tamale Dab, Bamuyeda, Haruna Idrisu argued the current voters' register is only seven years old and cannot be classified as an old one. Here's a report by Zubaida Ismail. The demonstrators chanted slogans such as Bamu Yada, meaning we will not agree as they marched through some principal streets in Tamale. The demonstration is among series planned by the inter-party group led by the National Democratic Congress to stop the EC from compiling a new register. So we are sending signal that this is the beginning. We will move from here to other regional capitals. In the end, we want to tell the Electoral Commission that since they have failed to use their reasoning powers, we are going to whip them to do what we want them to do. The General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Estiedun Ketia, also insisted the reasons being given by the EC justifying a fresh register is weak. We are proven to her that the register as we have now, we are left with only one million people to register. You want to throw that one away and go begin registering about 17 million. And we are proven to her that it is far, far cheaper to register one million people than to register other leading members addressed the crowd. According to the EC, they are using Article 45A, which gives them the power to compile a voter register and revise a voter register as and when it is permitted by law. Already we have a compiled voter register. So once we have a compiled voter register, the next stage of it is to revise it by law. Right, we are joined by John Buidi, who is General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, NPP. John, good evening and a happy new year to you. Good evening, many happy returns. Thank you, John. You've seen the first of the series of demonstrations planned by political parties who are opposed to a new voters' register. What is your first reaction? Well, my first reaction is if you grant is to say that it's a constitutional right and uh, they are exercising it. I believe that they also allow other institutions of state to also have constitutional right to also exercise it. So uh, we did not hear of any gunshots, nobody was beaten, nobody was killed. And I think that it is something that is positive for the country. Right. John, I've also noticed, in the, according to media report, that there are other political parties who are also supporting the NPP point of view that there should be a new voters' register. Would there be a counter-demonstration? Why would we want to do a counter-demonstration? Well, there's no point. Well, you are aware that the Electoral Commission has the mandate to compile voter register for purpose of elections in this country. And the only thing political parties do is to advance at any given point in time arguments to enhance uh, the register if we feel that uh, uh, there are a lot of anomalies uh, with the use of the register. And we, in the new Party, we've been pushing for a new register since 2014-15 after what happened in 2012. Uh, we organized similar demonstrations Eventually, the Electoral Commission said that they were unable to do so. We went into the election, but we believe that now that the Electoral Commission itself is saying that the equipment they are using is obsolete, the manufacturers of the DVDs they are using have stopped producing parts and producing the equipment. I don't think that we should force them to use equipment that are not correct. The NDC themselves, after the limited register, said, organized a press conference accusing the Electoral Commission for being able, not being able to have a higher percentage rate of, of uh, registration online. In their view, 
the, the, the electoral commission only achieved 13.3 percent success rate. This is what the NDC wanted to continue to use. I don't think that uh, uh, we can continue to rely on absolute equipment that has gotten to its end of life. I don't think that uh, we can continue like that. But John, if, if, if the argument is about uh, an obsolete equipment which may be difficult to use in terms of registration, why is the opposition or the group not listening to your argument? What is the difficulty, do you think? They, they need not listen to our argument. It is not NDC against MPP. It is the Electoral Commission that is mandated by our constitution to compile voter register who is saying that they don't have the capacity of the existing one to compile and that they need, need a new one. So it is not NDC against NPP. It is not at all. Okay. But we believe that it is important that we listen to the election management uh, body that has that constitutional right. Just as the NDC has the constitutional right to go on demonstration, the Electoral Commission also has the constitutional right to compile register for purposes of election. So I don't think that is, 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 is any argument at all. It is not. It is not. Right, John, we're grateful for your time. John is the John Boyd is General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, and those were his reactions to the Babu Yada demonstration held in Tamale.